Select the Banking tab to access the banking area. First, we will create a new bank account. To do this, we will click onto New and then Bank Account. At this point, we have a range of types of account we can create. In our example, we will choose a credit card account. We can enter the name and details of the credit card. We can then either save and connect to a bank account or just save. In our case, we will select save. We can then see the bank account added to the list. We could delete the account if we've created it in error or click on the bank and edit the bank details. In our case, we're going to edit the name and then resave by selecting save. Now to enter transactions. Going back to the banking tab, we're going to create some new transactions. We can see if we go to new, we have the option for expense payment, sales receipt, bank transfer, or as we've already seen, a bank account. If we select expense payment, we are shown the options of vendor payment, other payment, or customer refund. Vendor payment is used to pay off bills or invoices received from vendors. We can select a vendor, select the appropriate bank account, then select the method of payment, the date, and we could enter a reference if we wanted to, for instance, an invoice or payment number. We're shown a list of outstanding transactions and we can tick the box on the left hand side and we can see the amount changes to what we want to pay. We could amend this amount to make it a smaller amount if we wanted to process a part payment. Clicking save will record that transaction for us. We can now click into that bank account and we'll see the transaction that we created entered at the bottom of the screen. We'll go back now to creating another new transaction. We go back to expense payment, we select other payment, and this will allow us to pay off other items where we may not have a bill, for example, gas, refreshments, or stationery. If you have a vendor, then you can select it, but it's not necessary for here. We put the account that it's paid from, just as we did before, Again, we select a method and we can enter a date. Any reference, again, we can enter if we choose to do so, in this case, stationary. We can enter the amount that we're processing and then enter the ledger account. If the ledger account doesn't exist, we could create one from here. Or as you can see, you can search multiple times to find the appropriate ledger account. We can enter the details for the transaction and then save and it will be recorded in the same way as it was earlier. Sales receipts can be entered in a similar way. Select sales receipt and we are shown the options for a customer receipt, an other receipt or a vendor refund. Customer receipt is very similar to vendor payment. We select the customer and are shown any outstanding items against which we can record a receipt. We select the bank, the date, and just as before, the transaction to pay. We can then record a full or a part payment when we click save. The last option we'll look at in recording cash transactions is transferring money between bank accounts. Go to New and select Bank Transfer. We can enter the account the money is moving from, the account the money is moving to, 
the method of payment and the amount that is transferred. As before, we have a date range and a reference, which we will enter here. We'll just use the word transfer. We could also enter description if we chose to do so, although it's not necessary.